we are convinced that anything we are capable of imagining can also be built. And it is actually being built. That's the strange thing about it. Because the first reaction of architects who see our drawings is often, that's impossible to build. One has the impression of being in a kind of soap bubble, or even in a series of soap bubbles. When you come in, everything seems to be so light and high, a surprising feeling. Because as the light changes, this floating structure, the room, moves. It's as though you're wearing a dress or something like that. You have no columns. This is uh, like a fish. This is uh, like a bird. This is uh, uh, like an airplane. And after here, you can have different images because uh, this is honeycomb. Eh? This, uh, this is what, what we have. Mm -hmm. uh? At this we have uh, some sometimes it's flat, sometimes it's big, sometimes uh, or sometimes you have here, something that come here, or sometimes you have here one part that is this is here, huh? With the light here. But this come kind of light overall, this uh, the most important is light, licked, luce. The beginning of a project, as we see it, is very sensual. The eyes, the hands, the nose, the smell and the taste of things. That is the beginning of a consciousness of, or a relationship with, architecture. We never claim to be making social architecture, but that is probably exactly what we are doing. Social architecture. Our aim is to make art, culture, and the world of architecture accessible for others. Che permetta anche agli altri di essere partecipi.